Hey guys, guys, it's me, so killer. So today I'm playing FXX. I'm gonna do a how to program your FMC quick and easy way um, to get you up in the air and going to your destination. Um, I'm still new to this, so I may make an error there and there. So feel free to comment and let me know what I did wrong. And help is greatly appreciated. Any negative comments will be removed because we don't need negative comments. You can just say it nicely or don't say it at all. Simple. All right. First thing you want to do is you want to get your route you wanna do. So for me, I use onlineflightponer.org. Do not use this for real life, um, cause it does disclaim it somewhere. Um, so don't use it as a real. So if you want a PDF version of it, feel free to check it. Um, so feel free to check each one of one of these. So if you use FS2004, you know you would click this and if you use level D click that you know I use PMDG and now I want a PDF version so I want to go from Sydney because it's the flight I'm doing after this video is done Sydney to um, Boston Massachusetts and United States so Gila Bravo Oscar Sierra General Logan I'm gonna fly at flight level 250 and a PMDG 73800 um, and you hit create plan and then it's going to find your route and show you the predictions on where you're going to go. So this is all the IDs you're going to be crossing through. Yep, you'll be changing. Yeah, so good thing you have your FMC because your computer is going to be finding this for you. So you're going to start from here. Go up near Japan. Right, you're going to cross over to the International Date Line. So you move. So you go your day behind. And you go over near Alaska. Cross down near... Canada, and you cross down near almost New New York, New Jersey, and you're probably gonna fly in from the water side over the water into Logan. That's where I landed in noise from Norway, so it could be the same. Go to the files, and then it's gonna give you a route. You can get the PDF version. I'm not sure what this looks like. Actually, oh, okay, this is a. Ew. So you know what? Good thing if you feel like typing this in, feel free to type it in. I'm not gonna do it because it's gonna take me an hour, freaking half to do this. See, not for real world navigation, so don't use that as your navigation. Alright, so then once you click download, you click that, and it's start downloading here. Then you want to open your this here, and then you want to go to your, um, wherever it's installed. I have mine under storage, and um, then Steam library, Steam apps, uh, common, um, Flight Simulator X, and PMDG, flight plans, and just click and drag it in and then that's pretty much you can do it while you're flying you don't have to restart your game or any of that shenanigans um, if you want to see how many videos actually have to be done like to upload I think I have uh, I think I have some leads in here I have to upload but one of them is like feel more work corrupted somehow so that kinda got me pissed off so that's that's okay so first when it um, Enter IRS. Um, what I'm actually gonna do before I even start this is I was gonna to do start up default. There we go. FMC position position INT and reference airport. We're at YSSY, so you can just type in YSSY. If you click right here, you can type on using a keyboard. Um, thank you. Oops. Delete, yes, that's what I said. And then, if you go to root, um, co-root, really? And then, Y says Y to KBOS, click execute. It should have slow the white line when it's ready to go. Alright, so that done actually, it automatically puts the legs in for you here. Um, puts everything in so your flight management computer knows where the fuck you're going, you don't fucking crash and die. Okay? Right. Um, so for this, this thing's a being a pain in the ass. Reserves, I'm going to put, actually, that's skip, okay, um, runway, I'm not actually going to be taking off yet, so I don't have a runway specific, but I'm going to, 
um, just leave it blank for now. You would put the runway you want to take off from. So let's just say 16, for example. Okay, I guess that's not a valid runway. thought it was. I could be wrong. Um, for cruising altitude, I was doing uh, 250. So I just type in... Um, yes? No! You can just type 250 and it should automatically put you the 25,000. I always adjust it up here just in case something fails. Um, you know, we don't crash and die. Look, I'm a little bit of a noob, um, so I'm learning as well, so bear with me here. Um, oops, oops, okay. So then, um, legs, you want to go through the legs and make sure that nothing is overlapping. Um, How I can not get that. okay. So this little knob up here it shows you if you have any. Uh, you can do that. Uh, you can just skip through and it shows you um, if there's anything overlapping. Um, usually that doesn't happen. Sometimes it does for route, and you gotta fix it or else you'll be in a holding pattern going in a freaking circle. <laughs> um, target speed is gonna be two five zero. So it put it in here. At once it goes two five zero past ten thousand. Um, certain cities and uh, countries only last certain speeds against the point. Departure and arrival. So um, okay, here's the runway. So we're gonna do sixteen left. Let's use SIDS here. Um, then activate that. So now that just punched that in. So now we're going to follow that route. Um, and now for Boston, we're going to arrive in ILS 22 left. Stars that. Execute that. Okay, so now everything's in my thing. So let's use um, Soul Killer 125 as my flight number. Uh, okay. Um. Now this is where it discontinues, see what I mean? So you gotta make sure this doesn't get discontinued discontinued because you'll be flying and then you'll just be going out of nowhere. I've done that once and it put me in some random ass spot. I don't even know where I, w I was even going. Um, I had to restart because I got lost. So just move all these up. Um, and then so it's going to take us 216 to runway 22L left um so then um what oh, okay i'm not sure what to put there is there a few way it be 10 uh reserves 5 cost index is 25 and execute that inefficient fuel hmm. well i'm gonna i have pretty much unlimited fuel because I don't do that shit, so, I know, I don't play like a real person, I know, but, you know, it's just the way I like to do it, um, so let me, let me make sure we covered everything, so we covered the legs, we covered this part, um, these are your climbing speeds, so if you want to go to the notch 2, you just click climb 2, and it will change your speed to go to the next flight, um, speed, so I think you can set it to, like 200 knots, and you can put up to 250, or you can manually control it, whatever you want to do. Yeah, takeoff uh, flap is going to be 10 V1, VR, and V2. So V2 is going to be at 122 knots. Seems kind of low, but I'll figure that out when I um, take off. Um, I'll even include a taking off clip for you guys if you wish. Um, well, you're going to see it anyways, because that's part of the video. So, yeah. Um, hope I didn't make too many too many mistakes um, with FMC. If I did, I'm a bit of a noob. I know the basics of how to get me up in the air and where I want to go. Okay. 
Next thing you want to set up is your speed. So I, I said 250. So let's put this at 250. Uh, this thing takes forever to... It's a two. Oops. I'm going to fix my sound real quick because when you lower this, it's... It still looks extremely loud as you can hear. Um, heading, you don't need to worry about this. I usually don't mess with it because it's autopilot. Um, I'm not sure how to use that when it's in um, FMC. 25,000, we are set this. So, um, right, so I'll see you back in a second. I'm going to get uh, get some clearance and get some stuff going. So this is gonna take us in circles and it's gonna bring us back around. Not bad we can see around Sydney for a bit. Alright, so if you guys enjoy the quick video, it's just a really quick video because I got stuff to do. Um other things to get uploaded and stuff. Um so if you enjoy the quick review on how to get the FMT going and your PMG seven thirty seven eight hundred, um leave a like, comment, subscribe if you wanna see more tutorials, maybe on setting up flight plans or cold and dark or landing or takeoff procedures, just leave a comment and I'll make it maybe the next day or the same day. Who knows? I'm usually available usually very late, so yeah. Um, I usually respond to most comments I get, um, so don't afraid be afraid to ask a question. If I can't answer it for you, I'll get a Google result for you. Alright guys, so if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment, uh, and subscribe, and I'll see you in a second. Alright, so we are at runway 7. I ended up changing my mind. I didn't want to go on 16. I ended up just going from 7. Um, so what I'm going to do real quick is mess with the FMC again. So what I'm going to do from YSSY, I'm going to go from one way... Uh, really, there's no 6 in here. Oh, 7. Derp. There we go. That's better. Uh, there we go. Alright. So, now here. I use a mouse. I don't have a yoke or any of that fancy stuff. I'm using an American Airlines library. So... No, I'm not the perfect at taking off at all. Just letting you know that right now. Alright, so now, once you're aligned up here, oops, cockpit. I don't know why it looks at the ground so much. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. And then usually what I do is just give it some throttle, let it get the taking off power. And I just let it go. That's probably that's probably improper, but you know, it's just a game. Or simulation, I guess. Simulator. Oh, I'm off the runway, yeah. Um, I'm trying to get my new graphics card back, uh, my 970. Um, I love the sounds in this game. This is actually how it sounds when I went to Norway in the 737. It's very like this. It was, it was quick. Here we go. Got some wind there. This is how it's taken off. So now we've got positive rate. Gear up. And I just quick the cockpit view. Put the flats back up. Put and uh, now, and now it should start climbing. After I load the volume here. Yeah, so I'm not sure why this game is extremely loud. Um, it should start going on its own. Um. Uh oh. Something got disconnected my route. See what I mean? You guys gotta be careful what you do there. So I'm gonna fix that now. Um, there we go. 
Yeah, that would have been a bad thing. I probably would have. I probably went to. I probably would have gone to bed right there, and I probably would have been. You spumble fuck. I don't know. I could be anywhere by now. So now we should be all set to go. So I'm gonna make sure. Um, I'm not controlling anything by the way right now. Nothing at all. So just probably reset that and that. Let's go to work, 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 work. Better. Um, I did forget one thing. Um, oops, was my lights. Uh, let's see if they came on. There they are. Um, when I went to Norway, the 737 was a great, um, I actually liked it. It was actually, you know, you know, it felt like it was like a, you're in a Tesla. When they play the throttle full, then you put, got pushed back in your seat. I know Tesla and a plane, you know, it's not really the same, but, you know, considering how much, how much torque it has or, um, power, you know, thing puts you back right in your seat. So, yeah. So, now I think we're gonna get a quick overview of Australia. Yeah. Here we go. So it's turning by itself. It's gonna, uh, get us on course to go to Boston. Um. You know, we're staying at 235 knots. Um, climbing, uh, very uh, slowly here. Uh, no need to get up high. Because I'm gonna be pretty much sleeping, so. Um, hopefully nothing, this game doesn't crash. Sometimes it just likes to crash randomly. Um, so let's see here. So now it's going to get us lined up right here on the runway. No, sorry, runway. <sighs> it's going to get us back lined up on route. Yep, so I'm using American livery. livery. Um, uh, I was actually, it was kind of hard for me to get the library, so I had so much trouble. I had to ask support on how to get it working. And per I had to do some fixes to get the some skins working on it. So, yeah. So, my flight level today is, I requested, was 250,000, 25,000 feet. Heading zero. Speed is at 250. And it's on course. So... Yep, so there's, um, Sydney. Oh, that's really not probably what it looks like, really. That's probably the main city there. If you had X-Plane, this would be way better, but, you know, I don't have time to play that game. And learn all the fundamentals of that game. Um, this game can look terrific if you have all the scenery, mods, you know. You can go torrent it, whatever freaking you want to do, or buy it legitly. Um, but this is how it looks, and without any mods got the sunrise here and over the water here all right so I'm gonna keep this on too long because it's just a you know takeoff thing really but yep so once set all up uh, make sure you turn on L nav um, make sure you turn on flight director arm um, uh, auto throttle speed put your speed there uh, V nav you put that on when you're uh, I'm not sure how to use this actually I need to research that um, LNAV is for your navigations to get you on route. Um, when you, if it doesn't activate with the green light, you have to be sort of on course, or else it's not gonna program it for you, or get you on site on course. So you, you had to be aligned with the pink line. You click it, and it should go green, and then it should start turning. Whatever the hell it's gonna do. Um, so yeah, um, this should be. Okay, this thing turned itself off. Apparently, I didn't. I must have done that when I was outside on the cockpit. So now it's one vertical speed, 2,500, and it should start climbing. This is your vertical speed on how fast you want to climb. So I'm climbing 2,500 foot a minute, um, or feet a second, I think. Yeah, it's a second. Um, so I'm going to get up to um, height, and I'm going to go to sleep. Uh, get this video, and I'll make another video, hopefully in time, when I land. I know I won't, I won't even be close when I wake up, um, but I'm going to try maybe the next day and see if I can get a landing shot for you guys. So if you enjoy the quick videos, then leave a like, comment, subscribe. And um, in a few days, I'm actually going to do a review of my cars, a 1999 Toyota Celica GT 2.2 liter. That's going to be coming out in a few weeks. I'm going to try to get a go to the beach 
um, before it snow or so I'm trying to get in a snowy weather and do a quick review on it. Uh, nothing too professional, but just a quick drive of it. And yeah, so thanks guys for watching. I'll see you um, next time. <laughs> Bye.